Hi. Now, I'm going to try to explain, to tell you about uh, overtones and tonal range of this saxophone. So, overtones, uh, not a scientific explanation, just why we need overtones and how to produce overtones. I'll show you. But uh, the question is tonal range. Tonal range is, for these saxophones, one octave, two octaves, you can hear different opinions, I'll tell you. Regular saxophone, with its that long tube or horn, that big size, if you make it straight, and with 24 or more holes, all keys, has two and half octaves, regular tones, plus overtones. And look at this small size, just seven holes or eight, nine holes. What we expect? Two octaves. No, it has one octave, regular tones plus overtones. Not only this mini saxophone, all instruments in this group, everywhere, out there, are the same. One octave regular and maybe next octave overtones. So we need to learn how to play overtones to have our range a little bit bigger. I show you. But if we have two octaves, we will have three C's. Low C, mid C, and high C. I can show you low C, mid C. We'll see about how, how high C. Look at this. Low, mid, and then We have two octaves, but it's not easy to produce these high pitch overtones. This high C, you heard, has higher pitch than itself tenor saxophone mouthpiece has. It's not logical. So these tones sound not very nice and they are not very useful and I'm trying to avoid these tones. I want to keep my wonderful sounding scale, regular sounding regular tones. But there is one thing more I want to explain about we have the scale. <laughs> from low C to mid C. And this C, mid C, C, is the highest we have as normal sounding, nice sounding regular tone. But more than this, C, D, we can have if we open one hole more here. And many people did it. And they all have this D high tone we don't have. But we can produce this high D on the other way and keep this, what we have now, wonderful fingering. In this case, if we have this hole, we'll have this fingering. You have to close this high D hole and the next, this hole and the next and the next and the next four holes and you will have this position to play. This fingering is totally in normal, in normal position for your fingers and it's hard to, to, to control these holes and 
to play with fingers never relaxed so spent so much time a lot of work on this fingering just for one more regular tone no sense it's better to keep normal fingering we decided to not open this hole so we kept nice fingering with relaxed fingers normal position natural completely natural position on our fingers an easy learning fingering so we have this but we don't have this high D we can make high D on the other way overtones how we produce overtones I will tell you normally when you play your low C you close all holes bite your mouthpiece somewhere here and blow what you should do if you want to produce overtone keep close all holes as before just move your mouthpiece more in your mouth this is number one number two apply more pressure on the reed and number three blow harder you will have overtone immediately this is overtone already this overtone you can hear it it's not very nice sounding tone all right Never mind, maybe sometime we will need to, to use it. Each tone, regular tone, when you blow, you can make also overtone on it. So we did it on low C. Low C and overtone E. If we go D, low D we have overtone not D this overtone will be F let's check it yes and then And so so you sit and practice your overtones if you like it me personally I don't like it I never practice overtones so I cannot present overtones in a wonderful way because I, I don't like them I prefer to keep playing my regular scale so sometimes I use it maybe like this That's all about overtones and tonal range for all saxophone. Thank you.